I'm Adam Dickinson. I'm a real estate appraiser in St. John, New Brunswick. I also volunteer with nonprofit housing groups. My videos might be useful for appraisers, property owners, property developers, or property managers working in either the for-profit or non-profit housing or commercial property sectors. One question I'm often asked by owners is, if I do all the work of running a building myself, shouldn't that make my property worth more? As way of background, the income approach in appraisal practice estimates property value by arriving at a present value of projected stabilized income. Basically, we would want to look at the income of a property after operating expenses are deducted and arrive at an estimate of present value of the property based on this analysis. All else being equal, lower expenses for a property would mean higher net income and presumably higher value. A lot of multifamily properties in my area are run by local owners who put in a lot of work that is never billed to a property. For instance, owners might rent apartments by listing units, taking calls, and meeting tenants to sign leases without paying someone else for the service. A lot of the time, they don't even charge for their own time. Instead, they draw from a property's earnings or wait for equity to appreciate over time. Clients have asked me, if I don't get a bill for management, why should this cost be reflected in an income analysis? First, there really is an expense for management. And if an owner was unable to do the work, they would have to hire someone to do it for them. Plus, the owner's time has value, even if they don't write a bill for the work. Second, it is important for any market value analysis to strive to reflect the decision-making process of market participants. When multifamily properties sell to real estate investors, these investors tend to budget for management expense. When a market is dominated by larger scale investors, these investors don't plan to do the work themselves. They budget for staff or external contractors. This idea that management has a cost might also be important in considering some nonprofit housing or co-op housing scenarios where the management line item might not reflect the true market cost of such services. When considering nonprofit housing, any volunteer labor or volunteer management should also be considered when trying to reflect the true market value of a property. These are a few thoughts on how management expense relates to property value. Thank you very much.